Hi everyone. Today we're going to be going over 10 more must haves for traveling. So stay tuned. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you my absolute new favorite. This new item, which I fell upon fills my inner need for two purposes. And it's this, it's a headband, which kind of drowns out the sound cause it's made out of fleece and it's also speakers. So what you do is you put it on like this, like a headband. And because it is made out of pole fleece, it kind of drowns out the ambient noise. Also, it has two stereo speakers in here, which you can plug into the airline onboard entertainment system. And you can listen to whatever you like, whether it be music or movies, and it's comfortable and easy to pack. And this is the best part. I just wanted you to see this close up. There's the plug for the entertainment system. You can squeeze this into anywhere in your bag. I mean, look at how tiny this thing gets. I mean, you can just put it anywhere. And with the shrinking amount of space that we have in our carry-on bags, this is very helpful. Now my next little item, you might not think you need, but from experience, I can tell you that you do. It's this, it's a little med pack that you can put into your day pack or your crossbody and keep with you at all times. This particular one comes from Target and inside, and you can see how tiny it is. It's really small inside this one is bandages and antibiotic lotion and blister pads because you do get blisters when you're walking around a lot and it's all neatly kept in this little container. I highly recommend it. Now my next item is a must have. It's this, it's an RFID blocking wallet. And what I like about this one is its functionality. First of all, it's really small and you can see how small it is. Two, it has a coin purse here in the front. And that's great because in Europe and in Asia for transportation, you need to have coins to use their trains and buses and stuff like that. So this fits the bill for that three. It has a place for your identification and a place for your credit cards. And that's what this is all about protecting your credit cards. No reader can ever read through this wallet and four, it has a billfold. The other thing I liked about it is that it comes in an array of colors. So it can be both for men and women, depending on the color that you pick. So you definitely want to pick up one of these. Now in my last video, which you'll see over here, I packed a pair of slippers. Now I know some of you might've thought it was nutty, but I wear my heaviest shoes onto the plane. So I'm not packing them and therefore my feet get hot and feel uncomfortable and I like to put on a pair of slippers and keep my feet protected when I go into the bathroom. But they don't pack up that easy, even though they're flat, you know, the kind of, you know, the length of my feet. So then I found this and I'm in love because look at how tiny this is. This is really tiny. And what are they? They are slippers. Like this with rubber bottoms like this. And they fit neatly into this little bag, which means that even after they're dirty, they're not mixing with anything else in my luggage. So for those of you who want to be comfortable on the plane, that's the way to go. So when I travel with jewelry, I always took this box here and it's small. It's only four inches by four inches, but it was hard and it, wasn't as flexible to get into spots that I might want it to go to. And then I found this, which is a tiny jewelry packing bag, but it's a lot bigger than it looks. I mean, it lo look at how flat that is. That'll fit anywhere in your personal item bag. And it has all this. And as if that wasn't enough, it has even more now. Honestly, I don't know why anybody would need that much jewelry on a trip, but if you do, this is what you want. So two weeks ago, I was out in California during the atmospheric rivers and I was, it was pouring rain and my umbrella broke because that's how it goes on vacation. So I got this new one. And what I like about this one 
is twofold. One, it comes in this really nice little carry case. So if I just want to bring this along and throw it over my shoulder or whatever, there you have it. But if you don't want to take it in its carrying case, look at how small this is. I mean, I'm putting it up next to my hand. That's how small this is. And it's really flat. So you can just throw it anywhere. And it'll pack up nice and easy into your personal item bag if you need an umbrella for your trip. And you don't have to take this. Or you might want to take this. But that's up to you. So I like options. Now my next item is a must for those of us who suffer from ear pain when taking off and landing. And that's these. And inside here are two little earplugs that control the pressure in your ears. Now for me, this is a lifesaver since I have literally blown out my eardrums on the airplane, which is very unpleasant, I have to tell you. So I've used these, they're fantastic. I used them on my last trip with the atmospheric river. So definitely for those of you who suffer, this is a great thing. For those of you who are trying to cut down on your cables in your tech bag, you might want these. They're two tiny adapters for any kind of cable you have in your tech bag. Now look at these two little babies. They're so small. Now you could take these instead of multiple cables and that'll save you space. For those of you who have seen any of my past videos, you know I have a love for dollar store sunglasses and there's a reason. I tend to break them and I tend to lose them. And I don't want to take an expensive pair of sunglasses with me only to break them or lose them on my trip. Then I found these and I'm in love. The first one is this. I mean, look at how small this is. And it opens up. I'm going to do it right in front of you. I mean, how cool is that? And they're even polarized. And they fit into that tiny little container, kind of like my readers do. That'll go anywhere in any bag. It's fantastic. But there's more, as they say. There's this. Now this is more if you're, you can't give up your style, but you want to keep your stuff still small. I mean, this container, as you can see, really small. Not as small as this one, but still small enough. And I don't mind this container because it actually has a compartment here for stuff. I mean, you can use this for other stuff, but check this out. Same folding method. Nice, right? It's really nice. And they're also polarized. So, we pack up neatly into this little container and you're done. Now, obviously, they're a little bit more than a buck twenty-five because <laughs> you know the dollar store isn't a dollar anymore. But they're not so expensive like my Maui gyms that I'm going to freak out if I lose them. So there you have it. Two choices on inexpensive glasses that are both fun and portable. So this next item doesn't exactly fit the bill of keeping everything really small but it does serve a very important purpose. And let me go over why. It's this. Now it's not huge and you can see it's not huge. And it's something you would put into your personal item. I'm going to keep you guessing what it is. It's a blow up footrest. Now I know some of you hate the blow up items, but this is pretty cool. And let me show you why. Well, first of all, it has this really simple blow up device where you put this part here into here. It's a one-way blowing device. Now I'm going to blow it up and show it to you. Uh, I count it and it took exactly 10 breaths to blow it up. And then you plug this in. Now the reason I'm telling you that this is kind of important is keeping your feet elevated is a good way of preventing DVT along with compression socks. It also makes you more comfortable on the plane. And you rest your feet on it. And it's nice and soft. And you can even turn it this way if you want to keep your knees up higher. It also doesn't really take up that much room in your luggage. I mean, you can see it's really, if I put my hand up to it, it's not that big. And so 
for what it does for you, both comfort and health wise, I'm taking this with me on my next flight. And before I go on to my favorite little new find, please don't forget to show you love and hit the like and subscribe button if you found anything of value in this video. So this is my all time new favorite gadget to go away with. It's this Bob Tot mini speaker and it connects by Bluetooth and you can even answer your phone with it. So let me give you a quick demo. So this is how it works. You charge it up here. You turn it on with this button here until it. And, and that means it has paired that last beep means it has paired with your phone. And if it doesn't pair with your phone, you just go into settings and you can pair it there. It's called a cutie, <laughs> which I think is really cute. Then all you have to do after that is go into your music program, whether it's iTunes or not, and you just hit play. Pretty loud, right? You can also make it quieter. Underneath here is both for loudness and quiet. Um, and also it can advance to the next song and, um, and go back. You can also answer your phone using this if you want to. But I like this because you can use it in your hotel room or you can use it on the beach. And the best part of it is, look at how tiny that is. That is really small. Well, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye.